Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Classroom Champions Live. If it is your first time here, this is our opportunity to bring classroom champions, mentors, athletes, educators directly into your living room. So we're super happy to have you. As always, throughout today's broadcast, you are welcome to put questions, comments, whatever you want in our comment feed, and we will be sure to say hello answer all, and answer all the questions that you guys have. Um, if you like what you see today, you're always welcome to go to classroomchampions.org and see many more videos just like this. All right, guys. So it is Feel Good Friday. And what we're going to do is we're going to run through all of the subjects that we did this, this week, and we're going to do it with two very special people. Welcome, Todd and Lauren, you guys. So um, I have Todd Nesloni here with us. He is the Director of Culture and Strategic Leadership at TEPSA. He's also a White House Champion of Change. He's an educator, author, speaker, and we're super excited to have you, Todd. Welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here again. Thank you. All right. And we also, you guys, we have Lauren Gibbs with us today. Lauren is a USA bobsledder. She competes as a brakeman. Um, and she's also a Team USA Olympic silver medalist from the 2018 Olympic Games. She's also a gold medalist from this year's World Championships. Woo! Welcome, Lauren. What do you got with that with you? This is Geraldine, my Olympic medal. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. All right, you guys. So I want to show um, a little bit of what Lauren does for those of you who don't know much about bobsled. Um, so Lauren, could you tell us a little bit about your sport? Yeah. So bobsled is a sport that is uh, played, conducted on a ice track. So there's three sports that utilize that ice track. It's bobsled, skeleton, and luge. So the bobsled kind of looks like a carbon fiber bathtub that we push at the start, jump in, and then I tuck my head down for the ride, and then my pilot steers us down the course as quickly and safely as possible. Awesome. Who's your pilot? Uh, I have many pilots. I've raced with Jamie Grubel Poser. I've raced with Alana Myers Taylor. That's who I won my Olympic uh, silver medal with. And then Kaylee Humphreys, and I won world championships this year in Altenburg, Germany. Awesome. What a great team. So we're going to talk a little bit about teamwork today, you guys. Um, and there's going to be a couple of questions that we sent to Lauren because, I mean, how hard is it to be a teammate when you're at home right now? It's pretty tricky, right? It's definitely a challenge, but, you know, it's so great with so much uh, technology now. You can really connect with people even when you're at home. So we do a lot of calls like this. Um, some of my college friends and I are having a Zoom meeting tonight. Uh, my teammates and I did a TikTok don't rush challenge. Uh, we're all in our 30s, so we tried to be cool, guys. But I, I think it was fun. So you can check it out on TikTok or my Instagram. It's up there, too. Uh, so, yeah, it's definitely different to connect, but it's possible. It just takes a little bit of effort. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's, 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 been, it's been fun. It's been a little different. Perfect. All right, you guys, before I let Todd take it away, I just want to, we love to shout out all of our kids who have been watching all week and participating in our challenges. So Haley Daniels took us through a little drawing lesson on Thursday. And I just want to show you guys Zachary's drawing. Wow. Zachary, that is wow. awesome. I love it. So it was um, it was high five day on Thursday. So we made a hand and we made some rainbows and we just wanted to high five all of the amazing people who are out there on the front lines taking care of us today. So, all right, you guys have a great time. I'm going to be in the background. I'm going to let Todd take it away. Awesome. Well, I am so excited to be here to chat with you today, Lauren. I, I love bobsled so much. And I like how you just described it as like a, a bathtub that you were jumping into. I've never heard of it like that. So that was awesome. But, you know, I, I kind of want to go through the week and kind of see where you are on things. And so Monday was Movement Monday. And Stephanie yeah. Rivetti, she kind of led us in a workout. And so I know, obviously, with bobsled, you've got to do lots of workouts, too. And right. so can you show us some of the equipment that you use when you work out? Yeah, absolutely. So safety first with bobsled, right? So the first thing you need to have when you are bobsledding is a proper helmet. So this is uh, my original helmet for my rookie season. So I took my first bobsled ride with this helmet on. Uh, another thing, because we run on ice, you can't use just normal shoes. So these are some of our bobsled spikes. And you can see the bottom there, those little spikes dig into the, the ice that keeps us from slipping. And then because I have to push the bobsled, and I don't want my hands to slip when I'm pushing on the handles. I wear gloves and also keeps me warmer, which is also a lot of fun. So 
That's some of my that. equipment. Yep. And so, you know, you're used to working out with your teammates. We talked about that, how you, you do a lot with your teammates. So, you know, now that you are stuck at home, how are you able to, you know, we're talking about teammates today. So how are you able to be a good teammate even while you're at home, not with them? Yeah, I think it's super important to reach out to people that you spend a lot of time with because you re you realize that they may be lonely or they may be mm -hmm. anxious and reaching out and just saying, hi, I'm thinking about you. Let's set up a time to, to talk via FaceTime or Zoom or, or what have you, or even an email or you can send a handwritten note, right? Remember back in the day when we used to send mail? Like I think getting mail is so exciting. So maybe you can pick a few of your best friends and send them a handwritten note just letting them know that you're thinking of you. And so it'll arrive on a random day and it'll be like a special surprise. I think it'd be really great. I love those ideas. And you know, I know you're continuing to work out. Have you ever done while you've been uh, quarantined? Have you ever done any kind of workouts with your teammates virtually? Not yet because I'm in the pre phase of my workouts. So I'm doing a lot of rehab, prehab and stretching, uh -huh. which when you're at home a lot and you're not able to move as much, stretching is really important because it keeps your muscles long and elastic mm -hmm. and keeps you from getting injured. So everybody should take some time to meditate or stretch throughout the day for sure. I love that. Well, if you were not doing bobsled, Lauren, what sport do you think you'd be playing? Hands down, my favorite sport is figure skating. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. that I'm that, a little that, tall, though. <laughs> so, so have, you, have you done figure skating in, at all? Absolutely. As a kid, I took figure skating lessons. So I know how to figure skate. Well, I know how to not fall on the ice, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you're you're already way ahead of me because I can rollerblade, <laughs> but figure, uh -huh. but but skating on the ice, it's it doesn't do as good for it's me. It's like same, same, but different. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. And so, yeah. um, you know, Tuesdays we did mm -hmm. uh, ask, listen, and learn. Um, mm -hmm. and so it was for Alcohol Responsibility Month. Steve, Markeith, Sam, Aaron, they all played categories with us. So, what is your favorite word game? My favorite word game uh words with friends i love oh, words with friends yeah I love it that. helps me I, I love it because you know there is you're competing but it's a team and also you're working on your vocabulary which is really mm -hmm. important yeah mm -hmm. so i love expanding my vocabulary and learning new things and words with friends is a great way to do that so do you ever play any games with your family or whenever you're with your teammates do y'all ever play any games yeah with my parents i play hide the the oreo cookies uh <laughs> because i'm trying to get them to eat healthier <laughs> because it's really important not to just be eating when you're bored. So you want to make sure you have enough leafy greens, vegetables. Hydration is really key. So that's what I play. I play hide the Oreos for my parents. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we had this fun uh, chair challenge with my teammates where you put a chair on the ground, you put your head against the wall and try and pick it up. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I guess more women can do it than men. So we were trying to see which men could, could do it. A few of my teammates could do it. It was a lot of fun. Well, you know, I see that Lori has a question on here as well. She said, you know, we've got all this time to read now. Can you remember one of your favorite books whenever you were in junior high or high school? <sighs> junior high or high school, I would say uh, Lord of the Flies was uh -huh. one of my favorite books. When I was younger and a kid, the Berenstein Bear series was mm -hmm. my favorite. I loved Amelia Bedelia. Uh, I loved the, in high school, I loved The Giver. I really liked that book. It is an intense book. Both of those books were a little intense, but I really enjoyed those. Too. You know, yeah. we're, we're about the same age. And so as you're listing these, I'm like, yes, I remember that one. <laughs> I remember that. And it's funny yeah. you mentioned The Giver because one of my friends just read it for the first time this week. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's one of my all time favorite books. It's heavy, but it's, it's yeah, such it's an interesting book. Yeah. It's, uh, so, I love the perspective of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I think, you know, in our day and age now, it's such a cool, it has so many conversations that can come from reading something mm -hmm. like that too. Mm -hmm. and so when you were growing up, did you have a favorite game that you played as a kid? Uh, I loved playing Clue as a kid. That was my favorite game. And I love Phase 10. I still play that as an adult. Though it gets heated in my family. My sister-in-law mm -hmm. hates to lose. And so I usually end up winning and she gets mad. <laughs> yeah, Phase 10 and Skip Bow are two games that we play yeah. a lot. Where yeah. Our family's like yours. We, 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 we're a little competitive. <laughs> a little bit. This is, this is skosh. <laughs> well, you know, Wednesdays was, this Wednesday was Wisdom Wednesday, and Queen and Will showed us some movement in the morning. They played charades with us. We talked about setting goals. And so what was one of your goals when you were a kid? When I was a kid, my goal was to go to college. 
Um, I wanted to go to college and play volleyball in college. And so uh, I was fortunate enough to go to Brown University and play all four years of, of varsity uh, college volleyball and was the team captain my senior year. So that was that was my big goal was to play sports in college. I love that. Do you do you play any volleyball now at all? Do you ever get any free time to do that? Uh, I do every now and then, but I can't play volleyball without being overly competitive. And so <laughs> I usually end up hurting myself. So not during bobsled season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see that Heather Williams is on here saying they love Heather. Phase you 10 love too. Phase Ten, yes. There we go. And Lori <laughs> mentioned, and and I don't know if you know this too. Did you know The Giver is actually a series, and that no. there's three other books, and so yes. you know The Giver kind of ends really abruptly, and so there's actually yeah. some more books where you can follow along in the series. Man, learning something new every day. Thank you, Lori. I'm gonna have to check that out during there quarantine you go. time. So, so, you know, your team obviously would set goals as well. Do you have a, a team goal? Yes. To win an Olympic gold medal at the 2022 Olympic Games. <laughs> Somehow I knew that was probably what the goal was going to be. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Reach for the so, stars. So how do you guys work together to kind of reach that goal? Yeah, I think one of the things that we do is we communicate a lot. And that's a big part of teamwork is communication because mm – -hmm we all need to make sure that we're doing the things that we need to do to be at our best right. to support each other. Because if I'm not at my best and my pilot's at her best, then I'm doing our team a disservice. So it's just holding each other accountable, communication and making sure teamwork means being prepared for competition day. Yeah. And you know, I think that's great advice for anybody listening is just that importance of communication because mm -hmm. the more we communicate, the less misunderstandings there are and the better mm -hmm. we can all work together. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, you know, outside of the gold medal, do you have a big upcoming goal that you've set for yourself? Yeah, just to continue to be a kind and patient person, especially in a time where, you know, there's a lot of unknowns and craziness. Like, you, kindness is free, a smile is free, and those things are also contagious. So, you know, to spread kindness and patience um, and empathy. I love that. I think that's a, a beautiful goal. And, and I yeah. love that that's the one that you've set for yourself. Well, you know, on Thursday, we did Creative Kids Thursday. And Haley taught us how to draw and paint for High Five Day. We did a game of Pictionary. And so lots of teams do high fives as a way mm -hmm. to celebrate. What do you and your teammates do to congratulate and celebrate each other? Uh, I think high fives are a big thing. We're big huggers. Um, and just, I think telling each other that we're thankful for each other is really important. It's please. And thank you is, is, is a big piece. Right. And so telling, telling each other that we did a good job and that we recognize the hard work that goes into being an elite level athlete is really important because it can be, we spend a lot of time together. We spend anywhere from three to six months together. And so you get really mm -hmm. comfortable. So it's easy, right, right. With like your family to forget to say please or thank you or, you know, I, I, to say that you, that you appreciate what your mom and dad does for you um, or whoever you live with, your aunts, uncles, right. grandparents, that, that, you, uh, that you appreciate them. So I think showing appreciation is a big part of, of celebrating and being a team and a family. You know, I think that, and that's so important for people to remember is that we all celebrate differently. And so with your people that you're with, how are you going to celebrate them? Whether it's a hug or a high five or words of affirmation, that's great. And yeah. you know, since Thursday was creative kid Thursday, what was your, one of your favorite things to do with art when you were a kid? I love pottery. So oh. I took pottery classes as a kid and all the way through high school. So like on the potter's wheel. Uh, there's some of my creations around here somewhere. My mom's been kind enough to display them in, in the house. So yeah, I really enjoyed making like teapots and bowls and plates and things like that in high school. And, and I love that you still have some of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's even more awesome. Yeah. And so when you obviously, you know, being in a, in a competitive sport or even being quarantined in your home, there's, there's mm -hmm. going to be times when you're feeling stressed. And mm -hmm. so what is your creative outlet when you start to feel that stress come on? Um, I think for me, I'm not super creative. My brother was the artist in the family, but I really like just taking a time to step away and just breathing and, mm -hmm. and being quiet because I'm a very energetic person. I can be all over the place. Mm -hmm. And I think if we just take time to focus on our breath yeah. and be calm, just five to 10 minutes of quiet, calm relaxation really helps me. Uh, but also I just, you know, enjoy 
reading and learning about what other people are doing too. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I love, you know, obviously we don't want to be on our phones all day, but I love seeing what other athletes are up to. I love seeing what kids are up to. I love seeing creative ways that parents are helping their kids learn. Mm -hmm. um, all that kind of stuff is, is fun for me. Well, and I love that you talk about taking the moments to just stop and breathe and meditate. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for me too, I'm really active. I'm all over the place. And so sometimes that can be really difficult for me to do. But right. I know that when I like force myself to take that quiet time, mm -hmm. it's so beneficial afterwards to just disconnect and even 30 seconds to just stop and focus on your breathing. Mm -hmm. And so I know that, do you find yourself doing that in those high stress environments, like right before you push off or, or right, or, or when you're before you're it's your turn to get up there. Do you find yourself jumping back to those breathing and meditation moments? Absolutely. Right. The, right before a competition, like the last run of the Olympics or the last run of world championships or the last one of an important race where it's really close. It's so important to, to get perspective and you can do that by just taking a deep breath, reminding yourself that you've worked for this, you've trained for this, you've prepared for this and it's all going to be okay. No matter what, whether it, goes your way or not it's going to be okay it's all about doing your best and just having fun and being a good person i love that well i saw too that angela wrote on here that elspeth says she loves art too and she says if she gets stressed she hugs her honey bear and oh i, think that I love is, that I, I know i read that and i was like oh i could just that's so adorable but such a great way you know if that's what helps you relieve stress yeah do it I had a, as a kid, I had a velveteen rabbit as a, as a toy. And I don't know where he is. I, poor thing. I used to swing him around and I used to feed him my oatmeal, but his name was Velvie. So I miss Velvie. I used to hug Velvie when I was a kid. You know, I see Griffin says that, that Griffin loves telling jokes. Do you know any knock knock jokes? Knock knock jokes. I mean, I hear kids do knock knock jokes all the time in my line of work, but I can't remember any rough top of my Well, head. maybe, maybe Griffin can type in his favorite knock knock joke and then we'll tell it for him. I <laughs> love that idea. Because <laughs> I can't think of any knock knock I know. It's like, it's one of those moments when you're like, oh, you know, if I wasn't put on the spot, maybe I could have thought of one, but now <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, You know, today is Flashback Friday games. And mm -hmm. so this week that we played categories, charades, Pictionary, all of that. And so we thought, you know, how fun could it be to finish off with a round of one of our favorites. And so what game are we going to play today, Lauren? We're going to do Scategories Sports Edition. That's <laughs> right. And so for those of you that haven't played Scategories, the way this is going to work is we are going to give you some time when we name the letter. And this is all going to be sports. And so we'll say, you know, name a sport that starts with a letter and we'll give you the letter and we'll give you some time to think about it and put your answers in there before Lauren and I start giving in some of ours. So Lauren, what letter do we want to start with? I think L. L for Lauren. So those of you that are listening right now, what sport can you think of with the letter L and that it starts with the letter L? Put it in the comments and Lauren and I and Emily's going to jump in here too to kind of let us, we'll, we'll brainstorm and see how many L letter sports we can think of. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm already like, uh, Lauren took know, mine. Like, and I see one. There we go. L is a tough one. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, we got, we have another luge. We have another luge. Anyone have anything else other than luge? Let's see. Okay. I, I got, got one. one. You got you one? You got one, Lauren? All right. Yeah. What do you got? How about oh. lacrosse? Oh. You and Tanya. Tanya got lacrosse. Oh, and I see that Angela wrote what Elspeth said. Limbo. Limbo. <laughs> I uh, love that's that a one. Good that sport. totally counts in this game for sure. <laughs> I love me some limbo. It was only, easier when I was younger, though. Oh, now. A long jump. That would be long one. Long jump. Yes. And we had a long jumper on this week, right? Right. We had Will on this week, who's a long jumper. So perfect. Long jump is a good one, also. Oh, we've got. Oh, we've got a long jump here from Charlotte. Nice there work, you guys. All long right. What's our next letter? Running. I like that. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's creative. Oh, like running. That is a great one. Okay, so we did the L's. So now we're going to do our second category of this game, and that is going to be letter G for Gibbs. 
And so as we give you guys some time, start thinking of what sports start with the letter G, put them in the comments, and we'll see if we can think of a few extra as well. Now, L was kind of hard, but G, I'm sitting here going, okay. G? I, I, it's kind of one of those, again, like with the knock-knock, I'm put on the spot here, and I'm trying to think of. I know, my head just went blank. It's my letter. I know. Um, oh, mm. I, I, I got that hint. There we go. Yep, and Tiffany just said it. Gall. There we go. There's a great one. Woo! <laughs> Oh, we've got and another golf. Said golf. Ask, listen, learn said golf. <laughs> Are there any we other? We must have another one than golf, right? Um, uh, go karting. <laughs> that that'll count. Go karting. Yeah, go karting. <laughs> kind of a sport. That would be if we had go karting in the Olympics. Bowl ball. Bowl uh -huh. ball. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm, with, I'm with Charlotte. Go karting. Yep, go karting. Anything else? Anything Have you else, ever guys? Played, Gaga ball? played what? Ever played, ever played what? Gaga ball. That's a game we, that we have played <laughs> at, at several schools that I've been at where it's like this little octagon pit that you get in and y'all are hitting a ball to try to keep it going. Um, and that one's fun, but. I guess y'all have <laughs> heard of it, so <laughs> maybe it's All right. another thing. I love it. Ask, Listen, Learn says they love categories. Thanks for bringing it to us the other day. It was so much fun. Um, should we do one last letter? Let's do one last letter before we go. Yeah, let's let's do E for Emily. Okay, E let's, for Emily. Let's start with the letter E, and I probably picked another letter that is going to be really difficult. Uh, okay, so Will, Will did this in charades for us the other day. Let's see if anyone... If anyone can get it. Ellip uh, uh, equestrian. There oh, we go. Yeah. I was gonna say elliptical. That's not a sport. <laughs> equestrian. Oh, we've got some more G's coming in. Giant slalom is a good gymnastics. One. How do we not gymnastics? Think of gymnastics? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Anything Silly else Bob for Flutter. E? Anyone else for E? Hmm. Also, I need uh -oh. to know the end of Griffin's knock knock joke. He said knock knock. So who's there? So Griffin, who's you there? gotta type in the rest of it. E we got an e bike from e -bike. Charlotte. <laughs> that's that's very good. All right, we'll let we'll let one or two more come in, and then I think we gotta sign off for the day, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time today. We love Feel Good Friday. It is such a blast. We appreciate you guys. Um, everybody at home, thank you for watching. And you can always see more videos like this at classroomchampions.org. Um, Lauren, what do you got? Be bold, be kind, but most importantly, be yourself. I love it. Perfect. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. We'll see you on Monday for Movement Bye, Monday. everyone. And Griffin, Bye, type guys. your knock-knock joke yeah. in the comments so I can read it later. I need a good one. Yes. <laughs> me too. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks for having me.